How's it going, everyone? Session here. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Duels of the Roses, the second Redux edition. Now, we have ourselves a predicament battle known as Seto Kaiba. Here's how it could go down. His field, he's dragging, he's he's kind of nuts. He's got some cards. Those cards are scary. Um, I tried fighting. As you can see, I got the deck leader top right next to his uh, icon. I was fighting the Darkness Ruler. Just trying to like get some decks, some kind of cards, some kind of roulette thing. I got a hammer up short, unfortunately. So we're just going to kind of go in with what we got, got now and just see what we can do against Kaiba. So... I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go for us, but I really don't have any confidence. So we'll see. Because um, you got to remember, this is the Redux Kaiba. This Kaiba has literally the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And the worst part about this, too, is that I have literally zero cards that can not only defeat that card, uh, but my cards don't really do well against a Blue Eyes White Dragon, anyways. So, you know, we'll find out how this goes for us. Um, I'm actually going to have to, like... Oh, that's like it. I'm going to have to Death Fodder just kind of pass through my deck a little bit. Um, with the hand I started off with, at least for right now. So we'll see. Like I said, objectively, I need to be able to... Because the biggest, the biggest issue that I'm going to run into... Ooh, we are not dealt a great hand right now. The biggest issue I'm going to run into with my deck versus his is the mountain terrain. The mountain terrain is so critical, and I need to just get rid of it as quickly as possible. Because he's got a lot, and I mean like a lot of cards, that thrive unbelievably well in that mountain. Uh, so we'll have to figure out what we can do. Now the other issue is... He he has literally like the blue eyes ultimate dragon and that card is like literally unkillable with my current deck like it is I have to play almost like five or six cards just to be able to like effectively like fight that card you know I got to reduce its attack power with like shadow spell or like tears of the mermaid then I need like a Tongyo, and even still then it won't be enough. So like we gotta fingers crossed that we can actually do something correctly to get ourselves uh the win. Okay, so this is at least a good start. I'm going to root water right here. Just give ourselves some uh, some elimination of the mountain terrain. I don't wanna put like an advantageous terrain on like just on my side. I need to eliminate the mountain. Getting rid of the mountain is just like the play that I can like put together i think so and my powerhouse cards are going to comprise of the crab turtle and the roaring ocean snake so again like massive fingers crossed we can even do something card wise with that so so we'll see i'm actually going to put water dragon fairy there i would just like to see in like a test format if he has anything on his side that can fight that card. I know that it's a kind of a stretch, but we'll see. Because the problem is that his deck, he has the Blue Eyes White Dragon, so the deck cost of summoning cards like Blue Eyes is actually easier just because the star point reduction is decreased. So that's going to be very scary for us. We're going to be able to watch him just bring out Blue Eyes with like very little effort. It's actually like not good. So, the worst part is, is I'm actually entering, like, a slow start of card, uh, like, card function and flow. I don't really have a lot of cards to, like, change this terrain. The terrain is the most important thing. Like, he's got dragons and dragons and dragons. So, we gotta, like, pray that we can start changing this terrain out. So, we'll see. Okay. Man, we are in like a bind. I actually can't. I don't want to use that negate attack. I gotta kind of sit on the card. Or on my hand right now and just wait. I'd like to see if he would attack the water dragon fairy 
He does. Oh, you know what's crazy is that I just knew it. I knew it was a Kaiser Dragon. I knew it was. So. Hmm. He has eight cards in the field, and I have no way of knowing like which one is which. So. That's not good for us. Ooh, actually, you know what? I like that idea even more so. Although, I feel like I'm going to regret this, depending on what it is. No, we're good. Okay. I was hoping that he didn't have something crazy like the Mirror Force, because I wanted to use the Water Magician to get rid of the Kaiser Dragon, but I didn't want to use the Red Archery Girl, just because her defense is a little bit higher. But, it, you know, I actually would have ended up losing both cards if he did have Mirror Force. I think he does have it. So, we'll see. I think of, what's my next play? I guess my next play would be to if I somehow get like a like a Kaiser Kairishin or something, I'll probably put it here and something. But I forgot that I haven't played a car in like a bit. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay. I guess I I will. I will put down the negate attack, and we'll see. We'll see. Chances are, that's another Kaiser Dragon, and it's actually not... Sh like, I think it... Because also, he has Sayaryu. I know, I know that's, like, another card that he has. Uh, ooh. If I can find a fish somehow... That would be, like, really good for us. Okay. I think... I'm going to make a risk. I'm going to take a risky play, and I'm going to keep the one-eyed shield dragon there. So then if I somehow come across a fish, I'll move one-eyed here, use it here, and then we'll uh, power you sheen there and take over like all four of those bases of the dragon turn, so that'll be cool. This is a very slow game for the start. I feel like the first time I played this also, it was pretty slow, so... It's actually, like, not the worst thing ever, though. Okay. I can put down... I'll put this down for now. But I do need to summon, like, a little baby fish. <laughs> so... That is going to be a powerful information card right now. Let's find out. Oh, I... You know what's crazy? I kind of knew he had Magic Jammer. I should have not done that. Um, the problem, though, is that I didn't have any of the Magic cards to actually flip up and like, do what it does, so... That's a little bit unfortunate, but it's okay. That would have been an incredible card to throw out just to kind of check the playing field, but... At least we checked the Magic Jammer. I do wish I had, like, a Magician of Faith or something to bring that card out again and try again. Man, I really haven't been able to pull out, like, a fish card. Okay. Well, I'm gonna move this forward and just see what happens. Okay, nothing. He might attack that card, considering he's in the Mountain's Ring. And if he does, that's good. We can get at least some kind of information as to what card... Oh, wow. So there's the are you? 3,000 attack. If it was in the water. At least now it's weaker. Thank goodness. But if I had a Kyrie Sheen, that card is still going to destroy my Kyrie Sheen. Even if it's just about like 100. Um, no, the Nanini Black Shark is still... Too strong. I might have to actually, like, hard fodder a little bit. So, it's actually like kind of rough right now. We haven't really had a chance to like effectively. I need to start. The reason why I can't go on the offensive is because I'm trying to actually turn over that mountain terrain. That mountain terrain is going to be the thing that like keeps me in place. So I'm in like a permanent check until I start getting rid of the mountain terrain. I mean, okay, yeah, sure. 
Oh, I gotta be careful also. I think that because of that card, he actually might have like a mystical health. Okay. Oh. Oh, shoot. Um. Dang, that's a predicament. Okay. I kind of, I, I mean, it was bound to happen, so not the worst thing ever. Okay, let's, we can do this now. This is good for us. Let's do this. It's not pretty, but it works. Okay. Um. I'm gonna move this forward just to see what happens. Nothing? Hmm, okay. He should attack. That's good, actually. Yeah, we can negate the attack, which is fine. I'll have to be very careful, though. Oh my gosh. Another one. I got a 3,000 boost of life points. Ooh, actually, I'm not opposed to it. I can't, though. I'd have to get rid of something, and... Okay. No. Wait. Okay. I'll do that instead. I'll... I kind of need to go through my deck, so but I don't want anybody to sacrifice and throw a card the way that I was thinking of. So I'm gonna keep Karishin. What I'd like to do is like take out the Karishin with the one I shield dragon and then get a fish and then get myself another Karishin and just create more water terrain. But I would like to get rid of Sayari that's in front of me because that way I can just have a little bit more like leniency. So I don't really lose a lot to uh Ooh. Uh, that's choice option. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just do this, and then we just wait. Let's just take this like carefully. I'm gonna just put everything in defense mode just in case there's some mirror force play or something crazy. See. That's exactly what I figured was the... That's fine, though. Like, it's actually fine. It, it could be so much, so much worse. However, I cannot let the Sayari you get rid of the Curse Breaker because it's going to actually make it stronger, even if just by 100 points. I should have used the Kairushin, actually. It's okay. Okay, round two. Let's see. That guy stinks. I wonder if I can trigger nothing. Hmm. Okay, what I'll have to do is literally this. Just to try to like save some face, and then I'll move Magic Jammer onto the field from my hand. Almost wrong card it is, so that would have been very bad. Okay. This works. Oh wait, actually, this might work even better. Oh.
This guy, dude. Two of them. Such a bad idea, but I like just I don't really have a choice right now. Hmm? Nothing? That's odd. That's weird though, because not only like I, I not only moved it in between three cards, even if they were all like they're not even trap cards, because there's not like a trap hole in there, there isn't like a mermaid or a shadow spell, or, like a gravity bind, like whatever those three cards are. Unfortunately, it could be anything. But that that kind of makes it worse. Okay. Okay. Perhaps there is hope. Maybe there's hope. We'll see. What would be good is if he uses the card in front of my Aqua Dragon to attack. See, that's not good, because I still... I still don't know what that card is. But from one dragon to another. Sayonara. Okay. That's actually fine. Um I mm. No, I'll just I'll just hold on to it. My next goal is to, like, use Kairi Yushin or something, so... I just wonder if he'll attack my spellbounded Aqua Dragon. He doesn't! Now, I don't know what that card is. Um... This is actually so tricky. I don't really know what to do. Because the problem is that I can't even go on the offensive with my Aqua Dragon because the only way I even stand a chance against anything that's on that side of the field. Not even that. I just have to, like... I have to figure out if... If there is a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, where is it? And which one is it? Because he has it. I just don't... I have not a clue which card it could possibly be. And that makes this so much worse. I wonder if I can chase that card, like, away or something. But... It's fair. Card's magic jammer. Cause yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll move it in front of this card. It won't trigger anything, and that's perfectly fine. Um Okay. I do have a Kyrie Sheen. Confuse it with catapult to make an aqua dragon. So I think I'm gonna do actually let's let's check if there's a magic jammer. There isn't. Okay. 
he doesn't have a magic jammer. There it is. There it is. Oh, Lord. Okay. There's the first one. You know what I will do? I don't mind cheating the system like a little bit. Oh, what? Okay, that's, that's not bad. Wait, that's, that's not bad. I wonder if he'll do it. He, if he, um, he does actually, okay. I can I can send my work with that. It's kind of crazy how unaffected the catapult turtle was. My gosh, clean actually, not clean. Actually, it's okay though. He might have more, like, what you mean? He might have more, like, cards. I mean, he has so many cards, it's actually so difficult to figure out, like, what he actually has in the field. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's, let's see this. And now let's, just for now, play it safe. He shouldn't. He shouldn't have any more mirror mirror forces. So, fingers crossed. Though. Let's destroy. Oh, I can't move it. Okay, that's okay, fine. Ooh. It's oh, it's actually very vital now that I make that play. I actually have to, I have to do that. With the power of that dragon treasure that I picked up on accident, I need to fuse the high tide with that card. It's like, a, it's required now. So. That is actually not bad. That's not bad. I can I can work with that. Okay, let's do this. That's good. 37 in the water is like nuts actually. 37 in the water is very, very good for us. I do need to figure out, though, the biggest mystery now is to figure out where the Blue-Eyes Ultimate is. I can afford to sacrifice some life points to figure that out, but I need to figure it out. Okay. Did I? Oh, I didn't Curse Breaker. He Mirror Forced my Curse Breaker. Seven cards in the field right now? Okay. Um, 
I do still have the Paralyze. Like, that's that card is specifically being saved for the Blue Eyes Ultimate. I, I do need to figure out which one it is, though. I have not a clue right now. Um, the other problem, though, is that I... Ooh. That is crazy. Huh. What is... That has to be the ultimate. That has to be. <gasps> it's a Sayaryu? Oh, what? That's crazy, actually. Wait, he still doesn't have the, the ultimate out? There's no way. Dang, that card's beefy. Hmm. He still doesn't... Unless the card in front is the ultimate. Oh my gosh. No attack. Do I dare make the risk play of attacking that card? No shot that I would. That would be like kind of like weird. Okay, wait, I'll do this. Oh, that is not what I thought that was going to be. Unhappy Maiden? That's like the last card I would expect, actually. I mean, the spell bond is good. That's a, that's a, that's a damage, that's a, yeah, that's a damage check. So, okay. Now, we have to wait and see what that card is, because that card got buffed twice. I didn't even check what it got buffed with. I don't really like I don't want to. I can afford to check though. Ooh, good good that's a very good play. That's very good for us. That's okay, very good. Okay, good. That's very good. Okay. That's good. That's two. That's two. And I think I still keep the bonus, right? Oh, massive W actually. Okay. Guilty of the Dark Knights. That is not what I expected that card to be. He double buffed that card. That card at 28. Like, really? Okay. I mean... I can do a thick amount of damage. Um, actually, you know what? I should try to maximize my damage. So I'll use the Ocean Snake to destroy Guiltia, and then whatever that... I mean, that card... The Guiltia was a card that got buffed twice, so, like, I don't care anymore. I'm not as, like, intimidated as I was with uh, the Dark Knight card being a thing, so... I get to slide two over and destroy that card. Let me check, actually. Out of curiosity, what were the cards that he, like, sent away? Oh, it was a Luminous Soldier? Oh, I see. Whatever. Okay. This is good. It's still not good, though. But this is, this is not bad. 
This is actually not bad. We'll say that. We'll play it safer. This is not bad. Um, I'm gonna put Tongyo down though. There's no way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He has eight cards out. There's no way that not one of these is the is not the ultimate. One of these has to be the ultimate dragon. Has to be. No. Uh, wait, what? That's... That's not a blue eyes. I'm not making that up. He didn't... He didn't revive a blue eyes. I don't know what that card is though, but it's not a blue eyes. Hmm. The problem is that I'm gonna have to make a poke play. Oh my gosh, we are on fire right now. What in the world? It was a blue eyes. I thought that it, I don't know how though. I don't I thought that the card that we got rid of wasn't a blue eyes. The first one of the early cards? Oh no, it was. That's right, because it got um Okay, let's just say are you pretty sure? Wait, that's not What is that kind of doing? Wait, I kinda need to go on the chase. I don't know what he's doing with that card that's very close to the Maiden of the Aqua, but I need to I need to preserve that card as much as possible. For my for my crab turtle to be able to be as what it is, I need to keep that card like in play. So I kinda have several choices right now. There's there's too many cards in attack mode right now. Not okay. Okay. I mean, sure. I'll I'll take it. I guess. There's no way that that card isn't. This is the hardest. This is the most difficult thing to try to, to figure out. I can't defuse it at all. I have no clue. Whatever this card is behind. Okay, sure. Sure. I'm okay, because now the problem is is that I'm I'm trying to look for the blue eyes ultimate. Because as soon as I find that card, it is eating the potion. <laughs> like I can assure you, that is the that is the reason why we've been holding onto that card for our dear lives. It's so problematic though that he doesn't like attack with with whatever the card is. I can't play anything. I have to sit. I have to sit and wait. I gotta sit and wait. There's nothing I can do.
But like, there's no way. What is this card? Nothing? It's another magic buff card? Okay. That's weird. Okay. What's what's back right? What's this? Am I make? I'm not making this up. Unless the Blue Eyes Ultimate is like the final card in his deck, there's no way that it's not on the field. It's got to be on the field. It's got to be one of the cards next to him. It has to be. Um. Take Roaring Ocean and we swing left. I can't believe that this battle is taking as long as it is because I'm so terrified of this ultimate dragon. I can't believe this is the thing that's making it like... I gotta find out. I mean, like, kind of. Okay. Okay. That's not good. Okay, so besides that card that we just destroyed, that's information. The two cards, like, literal left and right, literal left and right are monster cards that got buffed by Skull Guardian. The Skull Guardian increases uh, light monsters attack monsters. Yeah. Light monsters by 300. So, one of those two is something. But the card in front isn't anything. Okay. Immediate left and right are monster cards. The other cards that are like that are around are not. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to like. Oh wait, I meant to. It's okay. I meant to move that forward, but I'll. You can. You can wait. However, I think I still lose that. I think I lose that dragon. I'm not going to lie to you. No? That card got buffed, though. What is it? It's another Skull Guardian. Okay, so we have a problem now. Because if he has a Blue-Eyes Ultimate, it's currently sitting at 5,100. It's got 51. Okay, that's free. I'm not mad about that at all. Um, it's the one on the left. It has to be. Shots. 
The card... Okay, he's got three monsters. Back left. It's, it's literally every card that's in his cardinal. That card is dead. We have a problem. Okay, I'm gonna just get rid of that weaker Aqua Dragon. I just, I can afford it at this point. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do now instead. There's no way. Where's my Tangia? That card works even if I attack flip. That's... Okay. What? Okay. That was kind of weird. What did he just discard? Guilty. What is it? Dragon treasure. Okay. Um. Okay. Cool. No matter what, no matter what happens, I have two methods of guarantee killing the um. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, no, no, no. Well, it, it finally came out of hiding. Okay, finally it came out of hiding. Um... That's plan one. That's that's that, that's not gonna work for you though. Like you're in trouble actually. He's gonna attack, five hundred down, put him at forty three, and then no matter what happens, the manager bug just like sends him away. I'm cool with that. The perseverance was nuts. Oh, oh my God. I can't believe it the entire time that dragon was hiding for the longest time. Oh my fucking gosh. This close. So close to getting whatever that man I So sad actually. It's fine. But Omega L. Man, I was like so close to getting the uh the three P. Hey, I'll take it. Gosh, dude, not this guy. This is gonna be so bad. This is going to be so bad.
This is going to be so, so bad. I, I I just realized I just realized what deck he has now we're gonna be in massive trouble um I don't have a clue how I'm gonna defeat him he has the immortal deck there's nothing I can do about that deck what we can do though is celebrate the win and reincarnate something and fingers crossed we get like something good um, I'm gonna just have fun. What's we're gonna take this again? We're gonna we're gonna just do this. What do I get? Is that Harpy's Feather Duster? Oh, Dust Tornado. Okay. I got a blue eyes. Not bad. That's Time Eater. Oh wow. Oh, Winged Beast. Oh. Another one. Man, we got nothing. That's okay, though. We got the prize card at Kaiba, though, so I'll take that. Uh, okay, cool. Not bad. I mean, yeah. So the problem is that his deck is going to be nothing but this card. And the problem is that I don't even benefit from using this card. Um, so that's going to be something interesting. We'll find out. Like I said, fingers crossed. I have... I don't have a... I don't even remember how I beat him the first time. And... With the with the lack of cards that I'm using now... I'll be in trouble. I mean, the only thought I can think of is like... I do... Um, I do have like the Mirror Force in my other deck. I got it like from reincarn or yeah, reincarnating and I usually end up getting one when I reincarnate cards, like the higher level ones. You just like eventually get one, so um I think I'm gonna need to like pull out all the stops. So We'll we'll see. We'll see. But dealing with an immortal deck is going to be complicated. Very complicated. We'll find out. All right. I mean, we'll see. We'll see next time. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. Thank you all as well. Like I said, I think I said this again like last time when we were at this part. But just thank you for being so supportive of the Yu-Gi-Oh videos. I know that it's like, it's just one of those games that you really either love or you're just kind of like it's just there kind of thing. But I I love playing this game a lot, and. I'm gonna probably just continue making playthroughs until I essentially use every possible like combination deck that I can. Something of the nature, but we'll see. But again, next time we go up against Mana Widen and we fight this accursed immortal deck. So we'll see how that goes for us. So thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing how just devastatingly destroyed I get. <laughs> we'll see how it turns out for us next time. So thank you so much and take care.